somehow, some way, you done stumbled upon MSC Cruise Line. You done dug a little bit deeper, doing a little homework, and you realize that their price is very affordable and almost too good to be true. So, of course, you logs on to YT and look up reviews from people who have already experienced this particular cruise line. I mean, at this point, it's become obsessive, honey. You just wanted to be sure that it's giving a bang for your buck and not you get what you pay for. Well, lucky you. Your girl just came back from cruising with MSC Davina for the very first time. And I'm ready to spill the tea. Hey boo, my name is Kira and on this side of town, we talk about all teens travel, budget traveling to be exact. So if that's something that you're interested in, honey, why don't you consider subscribing and go ahead and thumbs up this video. I promise you will get the tea with me. May 1st through the 5th, I believe, I sell on MSC's Davina going to Bahamas in Ocean K, which is MSC's private island, and it really was not as bad as I had heard. I'm just gonna keep it real, sis. I was second guessing my purchase after stumbling upon so many. Ugh, we did not have a good time. This was not giving. Choose another cruise line, run, all of those type of reviews. I'm so glad that I went with an open mind. I was not biased. MSC Cruise Line, from my understanding, is a European style cruise line that is dibbling and dabbling in the American pond. Things may be a little bit more different. But for me, a vacation is what you make of it. If you allow anything to disrupt your mood on vacation, you need your ass kicked. You ain't a nobody job. You ain't taking care of them kids. You ain't running behind that husband of yours. Girl, if you don't make the best of it, of course, pricing is what sold me. The total for two people was $13.78, and this was for all-inclusive on a balcony. Tell me where in the hell you can find this set with these other cruise lines. I'll wait. Initially, I was supposed to be going solo on this particular cruise. So when I did my homework, I realized that this cruise line, the only one that I've ever came across, did not charge for double occupancy. Most cruise lines knock down a little bit, but not too much. It feels like you're paying the price if two people were with in the cabin with you. I did hear they were going to be making some changes, but when I was looking, honey, price for like one person, all inclusive, meaning internet and drink package, was about 300 and something. I waited and waited, of course, and the price ended up increasing, and then it got to the point where there were no more interior rooms, but it was a win-win because I finally got the opportunity to try out a balcony room, and honey, to be honest, I don't even know if I even want to go back to interior. Embarkation. Embarkation is pretty much the procedure on you boarding the ship honey now in my cruise experience i've always had later check-in times and i've always shown up where there was absolutely no lines nobody waiting ghost town that was not the case with this particular cruise my boarding time was i believe two if you're wondering, I did not select that time. It was actually selected for me. And I didn't even really see an option online where I can make the change on the time. When I arrived, I was like, Lord have mercy. This is exactly why I don't come early. The line was very, very long, sis. I'm not even going to lie. Thank God my homegirl was already there. So she kind of had a little space up above, called me in. And we kind of pretty much skipped the whole damn line, to be honest with you, child. What a blessing. Um, it looks like the line was moving though. I'm not gonna act like it was just like at a standstill. It seemed like it was, you know, during this particular time, they're checking documents. So they wanna see your passport. With this cruise line, you are able to travel with a birth certificate and an ID. So they wanna see that. Any type of documentation, your boarding pass, which can be printed off online, by the way. You then get your luggage checked. I do recommend it if you need anything at hand, traveling with a carry-on as well so that you can have stuff in your hand because you do not get your luggage right away to your room. But before you get in the building, there will be people out there taking your luggage. Also are able to print out luggage tags online as well. Once we got through the first security checkpoint, we went up the escalator or up the elevator and then you're gonna head to another, yeah, you heard me right, another check-in point, which means another line. Now, I don't know about you, but I was ready to get to the shenanigans. I mean, don't hold me back. Don't hold me down. Don't lock me up like Akon. So I was just really 
you know, over it at this point. And I asked the lady, which I'm glad I did. I said, well, can we just skip all of this and go straight upstairs? And she's like, well, you, do you want to be able to have access to your room? Because this is where you get your key cards. And I'm like, oh, Lord. So the second line that you're going to stand in is for them to be able to check you in and give you your MSC Cruise Line card. Your little credit card, child. The card that you're going to be using the entire time that you are on vacation. Now, once we took our pictures, once we once we showed them our documents as well, once we were issued our card, it was go time. We were instructed to go up the escalator again, and then that will get to the little tunnel or whatever you call it where you walk around to actually walk onto the ship. Now, even that was a line. And it was so hot in that little... Child, don't even come cute. No makeup, none of that, child, because, honey, you're going to sweat it all out. It's just, just come as you are, child. I'm going to say the whole entire process to, from the time I arrived to getting on the ship was about an hour. I know all too well about the whole little muster station, child, when you got to check in and all of that. So I immediately asked someone when I got on, hey, how do we do this whole muster station thingy majig? And they were like, well, you're going to hear it over the intercom. Basically, when you get on the ship, you can't just go there right away. It just makes no sense. You pretty much have to do it when the whole ship is doing it at the same damn time. Girl. Let me tell you about that. By the time we figured out our room and we went down to try to grab something to eat real quick because we was hungry, child. That quick, everything was clearing out. The bar shut down. Down, the elevator shut down. You will see the crew members standing around with their little vests on. They literally shut everything down during this particular time. You are told to go to your room, watch some type of video on TV. And from there, you're going to dial 881 on your phone and let them know that you watched the video. Then you're going to wait and you're going to listen for your deck to be called for you to be able to go down. I can't say we never found the damn channel that they was telling us that we need to watch. He just went ahead and dialed the 888 one and it's, it's an automated machine come on and says, okay, you can hang up, we got you or whatever it said. We waited uh, maybe another 10 minutes or so. Then we heard our deck number call. Now we were assigned to deck seven assembly G. So when we got downstairs, mind you, it's chaotic because everybody's doing it at one time. We got down the stairs and we're looking and they're holding up signs that has letter on them and you just have to keep walking until you find your letter. I think what got me is that once you find the letter, you're thinking that you're going to sit through some type of briefing. They're going to show you how the hell to put the vest on. They're going to do something. I mean, they did nothing. I couldn't even believe it. I was just like, I had to sit down and just, you know, think for a second, you know, like, well, damn, I done came down 10 flights of stairs, walked on to it, looking for this location throughout this chaos. And you mean to tell me it ain't nothing that needs to be done? You just needed to know that this is where you got to come in case of an emergency. I just feel like this particular process needs to be done a little bit different. I feel like it need, it could be a little bit better organized. But that ain't ruin my trip. Let's talk about the room, child. Let's talk about the room. So on your card, you're going to find your deck number, your room number. Ours was deck 12, Aurora. Our room number was like 12204 or something like that. We had somebody help us, child. Help us, Lord. Please, because we was lost and needed to be found. Now, I ain't going to lie. In that hallway, it was a little funky. We ever drive down the road, down the street somewhere, and you get in a certain area, and you start smelling that sewer? It was giving very much that, like in the midst of that hallway coming through. Ooh, child. Had to be quiet because you didn't want to go down your throat or in your mouth or nothing like that. It did not smell in our room or by our door, thank God. It was actually in the cut, child. We was in the corner, that last room in the corner. That was us. The room was very nice in size. Now, it was two of us. So when you walk in, a bed was one full size bed. We did have to call down and ask our room attendant to kind of separate the beds for us. We didn't want to talk about when the beds got separated. Hold on, we gonna get there. When you walk in, the room was very, very beautiful. Love, love, immediately you look ahead, you see the whole balcony and the view. It's the view for me. In this room, there was a safe. There was places for you to be able to hang up your clothes. The refrigerator, the actual desk if you wanted to sit down. They had a mirror, they had a full length mirror. Mirror. They had a smaller mirror in the corner where the phone was. Um, they had like a t nightstand with lights on them. Uh, they had a small ass TV child. That is the type of TV you give them little children. You got to be squinting your damn eyes to even see what's on them. I mean, but you ain't on vacation to watch TV, but I'm just letting you know ahead of time, child. The channel shot. There's about five of them, and, and four of them is, is 
the boat information. So clearly they don't want you to watch TV. Don't expect that you're going to go in this room and watch a good ass movie. I think they had Discovery, HGTV. There was a few, I think it was some Spanish channel. Very little child. So don't think you're going to watch no TV. Nothing like to set up Netflix and, and, and all that. None of that. But I get it, because you're on vacation. You don't need to be in that room anyway. Girl, did you see that itty-bitty ass bed, honey? That has to be a twin-size bed. I haven't been in no bed like that since I was a damn 12 years old. You can't even do a turnaround. At one point, my whole shoulder and one side was hurting because I literally slept on one side. You ain't got much room to roll around on because you might fall over on the damn floor. Granted, it's like a little cot type style bed. It ain't that damn soft, but it ain't that damn hard. It was doable for the for the next few days. It was doable. I had to do what to do. I was pleasantly surprised that the bathroom was a nice size. Um, you can actually turn around and do a little few turns. Definitely bigger than my bathroom on Virgin Voyages. I couldn't believe that the water pressure was water pressuring, and I couldn't believe that the temperature was temperature. I know that ain't no damn word. They had a little ice tray so our room attendant can be able to bring some ice in there for us. Like it was literally comfortable for what we needed it for. Balcony was nice. I mean it would have been nice to be a little bit bigger but how the hell I could talk about it and it's my first experience with one child. I'm all right with having no window at all so I damn sure can't complain about a balcony. When I booked Fantastica was included. When I went online recently, and I see that they call it now Bella Plus or something like that, but the Bella is the very basic. With the Fantastica, the only thing you really get is one free cruise change. So something come up, there won't be a fee to make any changes. Request preferred dining. I mind you, we never specified when we wanted dining. It was pretty much selected for us, and I didn't even see an option on how to choose it, but it said that with the Fantastica, I was able to choose myself. And then the breakfast in the stateroom delivered for free. Now, child, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little, I was really excited when I found out about this night. And so I called down one morning, and only to find out that they only give you croissants, a chocolate muffin, uh, some fruit. They don't even include water being delivered to your room in the fantastic what the whole hell i said well ma'am would you mind sending up waters as well yes but it'll be seven dollars and 95 cents for what you can't send water for free the food was very limited i'm saying all that to say don't think you about to get some eggs and bacon and sausage and all that for free that's not included it's really like a continental not even continental child it was just little the starches we already big as hell they want to blow us up even more child they're sending the starches to your room and when it comes to drinking they're doing apple juice and orange juice and coffee tea i think too but i just want you to know that it's not all what it what you may think it is let's talk about internet internet was included in my package i do want to say that internet cannot be transferable with devices i believe on some other cruise lines you're able to log in on your phone and then you can log out from your phone and then log in on your ipad and then you can log out from your ipad log in on your macbook you know what i'm saying but not on this cruise one device per person when we first got on internet was internet it was connecting to all the social media sites everything was going good i was able to facetime of course there was no calling there was no calling i couldn't just dial a number um, a number couldn't just dial me i was on facetime calling and i messaging and things like that with that's connected to wi-fi in order to do so that was my how i was able to communicate with everybody it allowed me to load up youtube TikTok, facebook girl everything but Throughout the trip, it would not. Sometimes YouTube wouldn't even load up. There was the, at one point where there was, you would just see YouTube, the symbol at the top, but you didn't see anything. Or you would only see words, but you wouldn't see any videos or anything like that. So just take that into consideration. Sometimes y'all be taking trips, but y'all don't really be on full vacation mode. Y'all be having to still check in with work and stuff. I don't know if it's a better option. It may be because I feel like I got the basic internet with the pet package. I can't say if it's gonna be any better, but I am gonna say that if you're planning on doing some work, you may wanna consider, you might, at least try it first and see, but you might wanna consider going up with the package if it's offered. It did what it was supposed to do. Like I said, I was able to go on social media. I know that's what most of y'all be worried about, right? Y'all wanna show the world where y'all at? It just sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. The card, it does have how you would log in to access your internet. So it's www.mscwifi.com and then you will follow the steps and enter this internet ID 
and so forth. I do feel like if I was paying per day, because it was included, it was kind of like I let it go. I never really went down and like said anything about it. I kind of just rolled with the punches and was like, oh, it's okay, it's fine. Because anyway, we're on vacation, we gotta disconnect. Like what the hell can you do if anything, God forbid, happens while you're on vacation out there in that water? So it's really just to check in and let everybody know you're okay. I was able to do some browsing, was able to listen to Spotify. We was jamming, child. Make sure you bring your speaker. Consistently, the internet was not perfect. Let's talk about the drink packages. Since we're talking about packages right now, the drink package was actually included in my price for my cruise as well. Um, you are automatically assigned to the easy package. The easy package allows you to get drinks up to $9. Say if a drink is $11. I read somewhere where you cannot pay the difference, but you had to pay the entire drink charge and i would want to say with my experience that is not the case one point there was a bar that didn't have the type of tequila and i don't mess around with jose cuevo child if you know you know jose cuevo is the devil i definitely has to have to have a little bit better quality so when i was at this particular bar i said you know what i don't feel like going nowhere else let me just pay a little extra it was like four dollars extra for two double shots or four double shots or something child i can't remember how it went so the gentleman told me that they weren't charging me fully for the amount it was just only the difference up to what this was i want to say that there is definitely something for everybody with this particular drink package um, of course they have the premium package where you get better top of the line liquor but i feel like if you're getting good with them damn bartender shaft throw them a little tip or two okay or three you're able to get access to that as well i'm just letting y'all know from experience Don julio uh patron all that you're able it's just who you get in you know who you get in good with i said my concern was when i was at the bar especially the pool bar i don't think they really be like like, say if you give them your card and you pay, tell them what type of drink you want, I really don't even think that they always be pulling out the premium liquor. They always resorted to the cheapest liquor. So if you have the premium package, you literally would have to be watching and on top of it, making sure they grab the premium drink. I just feel like they just moving so fast that they're not even paying attention to the kind of liquor. It may make a difference when you go into like all of those bars, you know, when you sit around in those type of places, it probably makes a difference there. But like I said, if you get in good, it, you're good. You can get a pina colada, you can get a margarita. I, that's all I stayed drinking on, child. The, the, the strawberry daiquiris, like all the, the, the main drinks that you drink, that was able. When you start getting fancy, like sets on the beach and all these extra, you know, stuff that requires a little bit more skill. Then, of course, it's going to be a little bit extra. Like I said, if you get in good with a bartender, some of them will say, oh, don't worry about it. And then they'll still bring you what it is that you wanted. Make sure you tip in, though. I do say that the easy package does include the lowest of the liquor class. So you're going to get Jose Cuevo. You're going to get, like, the skull of vodka. And you're going to get, like, all of that... The shit that'll make you real sick, child. Then it also depends on the bartender and which bar you're going to. Now, we realized quickly that the pool bars, anything outside and where it's crowded, stay the hell away from them. There was one particular bar, and I, I can't even, I don't even know what it was called, child. I got to figure out the name of the actual bar. Shout out to you. I think his name was Yogis, Yogish or something like that, but we call him you, okay? Like Soldier Boy. In that area, they had like, 1800 1800 don't give me no headache child. i'm a tequila girl they had uh other drinks that were like instead of having like that skull and jose cuevo the only type of liquor that's available in that class if you went to some of those bars they had better selections even with this basic package as well so i say that to say try to get your drinks from those type of bars because honey the drinks were porn and they were different like have you ever experienced where somebody make you drink and then you go somewhere else and somebody else make it and it's like what the hell is this that was happening by those pool bars it was like um they was just doing whatever the hell but i understand too because it's more faster everything is quick 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 so many people coming up People are very impatient. And I understand they're trying to keep the drinks flowing. I would recommend staying the hell away from those bars. And just so you know, the gelato, the gelato or whatever it's called, that yogurt, frozen ice cream, whatever that is in that little corner over there is not included with no damn package. You got to pay for that, child. We ain't even know. But I did have a little sample of that pistachio flavor. Girl, that thing was good. Almost convinced me to add it to the bill. What I did notice, though, honey, I got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. I cannot move on without talking about it. There were some people that were bothered with how many drinks you're asking for or how many drinks you had on your table or how many drinks you done drunk. 
From my knowledge, the easy package is unlimited, meaning you can get it however much. It's not where it's nine drinks in one day or, you know, where they're keeping tabs or whatever. Don't monitor me, baby. I'm on vacation. We had someone, I'm not going to say people, but we had someone to literally be like, um, uh, you know, more drinks? Like, questioning us. Yes. Sir, more drinks. We're finished with these. Can we have more? Let me just tell you, we're not wasting over the drinks. We're not belligerent or acting crazy or drunk or talking loud or, you know what I'm saying? There's no reason why anyone would be like, oh, no, you don't need no more. Like, we, we definitely know how to be classy on vacating. So this was just somebody who was the drink police. The package is unlimited as far as I, I understood. Don't monitor my drinks. Other than that experience, the drinks were pretty good. Let's talk about food. Honey, the food was chef's kiss i ain't gonna lie now based on the reviews that i seen i thought i was gonna have to put on an apron and get in the kitchen myself honey okay get me a deal and, and, and cook up a little something something truth be told i honestly thought i was gonna have to drive the boat also by listening to some of these reviews the food was pretty scrum deliumptious besides that damn gumbo if you know, you know, that looks like chicken noodle soup and also tastes like it. Like, it was tasty, but don't, 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 don't. Let's not label it as gumbo. Please don't. For the most part, I had and I enjoyed everything I ate. And I damn sure ate, honey. I know damn well I done fit, picked up a few pounds. All I did was ate and drunk on that damn cruise. I cannot say that there was food that I was just like, yuck, besides that cheesecake, honey. That cheesecake that was in the, girl, mm -mm. when you're on a cruise, they're, Preparing food for tons and thousands of people. So it's giving cafeteria. It's giving golden corral. It's going to give, you know what I'm saying? Like even hospital food. I just feel like this quality though was above that. So if you go with the expectations of, oh, this is going to be that type of food. You may be a little bit surprised and a little bit more pleased at the end because it's going to be a little bit more better. I mean, you can't please everybody because it's probably going to be somebody that say, oh, the food wasn't good. I ain't like it. I ain't like it. You can't please everybody. Steak every night. Like, come on. Steak, the potatoes, the... They had Caribbean night. They had Italian night. They had this night, that night. I just love... And everything I had was pretty good. It's that bread, though, child. I need to do better with that bread, honey. You could literally pick up and knock a clock up just out the head. I mean, knock them straight cold out. Desserts was okay. They wasn't all that, but... By the time you're done eating, you're pretty full. I love, love, love that you were able to get as much as you want. Like, honey, if you want to try the lamb chops with the with the uh, steak, and you wanted a starter with a salad on the side and a soup, nobody in the diner that we experienced was like, uh, are you going to eat all that? Like, nobody, they just was like, no problem. Your card is going to say Black Crab, which is the dining area that you're supposed to go in that's what you go in every night if that's where you want to eat you also have the option of eating the i call it a cafeteria but it's like the the one that is open see i need to learn names but it was the one that's always open with the pizza and all that that area that is also open it's like a buffet style that's open at dinner as well lunchtime breakfast it's always open child well it closes also but it's always open. But this is where you go and eat while you're on your cruise. So it will tell you. And then also here it says table 629, seat second, the time. We had no idea. When we got there, we nobody ever came and said, let me see your card. Well, maybe they did. They did. But nobody literally walked us to table 629 and put us in our side seats like it has on this card. They literally put us with other people. We didn't realize to our last night, the lady, when we walked in, the lady was like, go to wherever you sat at yesterday. So we was like, okay. But when we went there, there were not the same people seated that sat there the night before. And the man came and he's like, well, you know, you have assigned tables and seats and da 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 He was like, it's no big deal, but just so you know. And I was like, what the hell? He was today years old. Nobody told us that our table number was 629 and our seat was there. They had done, we done sat with different people every damn night. All night food. I don't think there was anything that stayed open all night long. I do know that the pizza was available very late. Entertainment and music, child. We're going to start with the music first, child, because I know a lot of people, them, the men and the folk, want to know how the music is music. When I've read these reviews, a lot of people was definitely clowning the entertainment and the music on the show. But surprisingly, 
it was not that bad. You're one of those people that can pretty much dibble and dabble with different types of music, then you'll be okay. Now, I am gonna say at some points, especially like during those parties, sell away party, the all white party, I just felt like they could have did better with the music selection. Like we, there's different races on board, okay? DJ, and I'm talking about at these parties, I'm gonna need you to do a little bit better. Like for them, this is the type of music that we were listening to. I'm gonna play a little clip here. It's giving a lot of uh, pit bull and Spanish folk music, um, and I can deal with the Spanish folk, but I like a little mix. Like I'm, I, I can deal with a little uh, borica, borera, boricua, borera. You know what I'm saying? And then switch it up to something different. I can deal with tonight's gonna be a good night and then switch it up to something a little different. At these sell away parties, I literally only heard Rihanna when it comes to the melanin folk that was played. And even that was scratched in and mixed in with some of that type of music and boom, 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 boom. Let me tell you though, the DJ was DJing at the club, child. I'm talking about that ass up. All I heard was doom, doom, doom. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. Doom, 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 Woo! for the 99 and the 2000. Wobble. You don't need no other body. Only you feel on my body. The songs that you be hearing on Hot 105, 99 Jams was getting played in. They play City Girls, Trina them, 305, Miami child, like, I was like, you, no way. Cardi, Megan, it was being played in that, but they also mixed it. So it electric slide. Like, I didn't even experience this type of music like that on Virgin Voyages. Carnival barely did it, surprisingly, because this is the party boat, except in that club, though. The, the club was DJing on Carnival, too, but I was not expect. I couldn't believe you should have saw my face hit after hit after hit and i was just like okay i deal with the sell away stuff if in at nighttime is going down and i mean you'll be some amazed at all the people on the floor singing to the songs because they know it and dancing to the songs because they know it like so give it a chance djs entertainment as far as entertainment goes they sent a sheet out i'm gonna put here Every day your, your room attendant is gonna bring you the sheet or they're gonna slip it up under the door or whatever. And the sheet literally has like a breakdown of everything that's gonna be going down on the ship. Now, what I do want to recommend and say that I see on the sheet, for instance, we almost missed the Adele show. Yeah, I, if you know me, you know I love me some Adele child. I wanna go see her and lie, but honey, them ticket prices be pricing. Okay, one day though, one day, I'm gonna make it big enough where I can afford to sit front stage so me and her can make eye contact. But listen, they had an Adele show and on the, we would have missed it if we had not been just chilling and having a little conversation away from all the excitement and we heard it on the intercom. On the paper, it did not mention anything about Adele. It just said theater show at whatever time it was. I think it was like three or 3.30 or something like that. And then it says the person name who's going to be impersonating. But it didn't tell you specifics of what she was going to be doing. Not on the, the sheet. Now, I did realize in the book, the book had a little bit more details as to, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't see details about this. So, I just think that on the sheet, they should kind of put exactly what the shows are giving, what, what's going to be happening there instead of putting the name of the person. Because we don't know who the hell Clara is and, and who the hell Steve is. We want to know what they're going to be doing, what we're going to show, what we need to show up for. We want to know what they're going to be giving when we get there. We did see that show. I think we caught two shows. We didn't do half of as much as I wanted to do. We missed a lot. Like, I want to do the silent disco. I don't even know how the hell I missed that because I literally was saying before I boarded the shit that I wanted to experience that. I remember them having like a cooking show. I'm, I Everybody know me, love, know I love to eat. Food Network and HGTV is my thing. And so they had the cooking shows. I was I hated that I missed that Master Chef or something like that. They had like a light show when we was on Ocean Cane. No, 
all type of shows. They definitely had activities. I don't really know if it's really a lot of activities that we care to do. If you're planning on going on this cruise line, try to see if Facebook has a private group for you on your selling date. You can get kind of get to know people and, you know, kind of have uh, familiar faces and people that you can kind of meet up and link up with. But I remember them creating like a pub crawl. But by me being in that Facebook group, I was able to know about the white party because I know a lot of people want to know is there's theme nights. There was a white party. I remember seeing some people with like 70s outfits on. So I guess it was like a disco night. Oh, silent disco. I guess that's what it probably was going on. Okay, so we seen people dressed up like 70s. Black and white affair. I remember some people getting invited to some type of appreciation thingy. We didn't get invited, but they had to wear black and white. So we seen that. So they do have theme. We also seen people dress up, up. I think it's by choice. Cause then we see people that was dressing down, down, but there are a few theme nights. If you're wondering, I just feel like it's giving what any cruise line would give when it came to entertainment. Ocean K. This private island was gorgeous. Now, I haven't had many experiences with private islands. I don't have anything to necessarily compare it to, but I want to say for a first-time experience of a private island, it was very, very nice. You go down to deck five, I believe, and you're able to get off. You do need your key card, the little card, to be able to get off. They're going to scan it. Once you get off, you, it, you can either walk it. They have, like, this big bar where this man was out there playing like reggae music and caribbean music it was a vibe um you got drinks there your drink package does go all the way out to the private island too which is really really good food as well is included everything that's included on the ship is extended out on the island child you can't get no better than that we did go get in the water for a little bit or by the water closest we gonna get in the water child when i realized that it was a little fish swimming in the water honey the fish can have the water i admittedly made my exit you know the water is so clear you can see everything honey that's see that's why me and the beach just don't be beach we 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 mm -mm, we not here we not here but i wanted to dibble and dabble because it's been a very long time and i'm from florida child so you would think i live at the beach but hell no the beach was so beautiful it never felt crowded i don't know if some people don't get off or whatever it never felt overcrowded um once you get off you can get drove around to the beach area sections so they do have like a little cart or a trolley that can be able to take you around child they did have excursions too if you wanted to get into i seen jet skiing at the end of the night they did have a light show because there's a big ass lighthouse out there and they had a light show they do stay at this port pretty late i think you had to be back on the ship at about nine o'clock if i'm not mistaken that's pretty late to stay in port i do know that you can rent like cabanas and things like that chairs and and all of this extra stuff um but we didn't do any of that because we was not planning on staying out there for too long child i'm already tanned enough honey my melanin is popping already child so i ain't really need to stay out there for too long we just want to go out there and see what it was all about what it was giving and it was very very beautiful child very beautiful when you get back onto the ship you have to scan your card you can't bring any of seashells and coconuts child people was trying to bring all type of shit we seen in a little bin on the side you can't bring any of that stuff and it was a pretty easy process of doing it very quick this card is like your credit card okay make sure you bring in a lanyard too to be able to hold on to it or, or like a little pouch you know the little clear pouch to be able to hold on to your things when you get on on board this is pretty much your credit card you can have a card attached to this you can have one of your credit cards attached to it or you can load money on the ship when you get on i never once attached a card to my card never not one time so if you don't then you will have to go and make sure you close out your balance or your account before it's time to disembark honey and not letting you get off that ship if you got a damn tab i did like that they had like the little kiosk where you can be able to go around and pay and not sit in that long ass line. when you think about it try to go and not wait when you get to the last day or whatever because that line gets long honey that line was long we didn't stand in that line we went earlier that morning so thank god we missed it i only had to go down there and pay the little four dollars that i told you the difference that i needed now mind you when we went up there to close our account they were saying that it was a 58 dollar charge on our account and we was like what is this for because from what we knew we taxes the fees all this so i was just like oh what is this for that's all i had to say once I said that, they was like, oh, no worries. We'll go ahead and remove it. I'm like, well, damn, is that easy, sis? Remove your 58 too then. You know what I'm saying? But they removed it with no worries. So make sure you go down and get yours removed, Jack. Don't tell everybody, though, because they might stop removing stuff. And now you should realize that COVID 
don't even exist, child. People, at least that's what people be saying. I'm saying all that to say, though, that vaccination requirements and all that jazz is lifted. So you don't have to even worry about that, just in case that was a concern. I completely forgot to talk about the ship's layout or the ship itself. Honey, if you don't go take no pictures nowhere else, make sure you're getting some photos on that staircase where it looks all glittery, like the glitz and glam, honey. I'm gonna put on the screen how many restaurants there are, pictures of the restaurants, or video clips of the restaurants, the bars, a lot, a lot of jacuzzis around. I did appreciate that this particular ship had like an adults only section where they had a bar at, I think a solarium or something. I can't even remember what it's called, but it's like on the 18th deck, honey. Trying to find the 18th deck was definitely a maze. You have to find one of the hidden elevator shaft, okay, that goes up to that floor and then get off and then go up these stairs. It's like, and when you get up there, the only thing that's up there, I was thinking it was going to be this magical, but it was a hot tub. Um, I did like that you can get away from people. I know some people probably go out there and do some things, if you know what I mean, Chad. Tons of food places, restaurants. I even loved in the club area, if you go up there and sit down, they have like this big ass glass view where you can just look out in the ocean. You can probably go out there and read a book. Like, it was like, that was one of my favorite like hideaway places, to be honest with you. The club was nice. Nothing seemed congested or packed. Even with everybody eating at the same damn time, it never really seemed as clustered. All of the clubs, all of the bars had something unique, their own little style. They had a purple one. They had one that was like a sports bar style. Theater was big and grand and huge. That's not a place on this ship where you couldn't just go and look out, explore, be to yourself, chill. Like you could have privacy or you could be in the midst of everybody. It was really up to you. Disembarkation. Unfortunately, it is officially time to go. You ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell up off this boat. So the night before, they bring a sheet of paper up under your door. They circle it and tell you what time you need to be out based on your decks again. They will call it on the overhead or the captain or whoever here get on there and let you know such and such and such is time for you, this and this and that. If you but got luggage and you don't want to take it down yourself, I actually walked my luggage down this time around because I wasn't going to be waiting for nobody to bring my luggage down and all this. They do include luggage tags with the little paper that they include for your disembarkation instructions. So you can be able to put it on your bag and they'll take it down, leave it out in the front door and the night before they'll take it down for you. We did not get off at our time. Now, I am going to say that the lady did come and knock on the door and say, hey, we got another cruise after you guys, so I want to be able to get in and tidy up. But of course, we want to get freshened up, child, okay? Our vacation is not over yet. Calm down. But she wasn't rude. We did tip her, of course. And so she kind of let us linger around a little bit longer to get ourselves together. But our time frame was like eight something to get off. Excuse me? We seen some on the list where some people wasn't scheduled to get off to like 10 something. So our goal was to stay on as long as possible, honey. We gonna be with the crowd with the 10 something people. We'll act like we know what time we, our deck was supposed to get out. <laughs> Once we got it together, got everything, we double checked, triple checked, made sure we didn't leave nothing behind. We went down. Now, can you believe that they are still allowing you to get whatever you want? Like the breakfast was still open. Well, we missed it, but it was open. The bars were still open. People was waking up to drinks, honey. Mimosas, shots. How you want us to hurry up and get off the, the boat? But you steady giving out drinks, coffee, teas, okay? Um, people was just lounging around at like some of the bar areas. So if you want to kind of like linger around, you can do so. We got caught though because we was trying to go back 
ease our way back into where the crowd at. Once we, you know, the people who just want to linger around, ain't ready to go yet, don't want the vacation to end. We kind of ventured off further to see if they had food and these people ended up catching us, child. I guess they got people that's like, how sweet. And they were like, hey, follow us. Are you guys lost? We're going to take you to... <laughs> But it was okay. It was time for us to go anyway. So it was a little line. It was a little wait when you were getting off the boat. So Because they have to scan your ID to make sure every single person is off the ship. So they scan our ID. That had a little line as we went around the little terminal thingy. Then you have to go through customs because, of course, you went internationally. So um, that was even not even a line. It was not, I mean, it was a little wait, but it was probably about five minutes. The line was moving. The line we was in, it, those people, they was getting us up out of there, child. And the only thing you had to show was your passport or your ID and driver's license. The same thing that you had to show to get on, that's what you were showing to get off. Outside, if you need any type of taxis, girl, if you need uh, whatever you need, Uber drivers everywhere. If you walk across into the middle, they have, that's where the Uber drivers are kind of. You gonna have people that's going to be coming out there offering you rides, $10 to the airport, which is a steal to me because Uber, I'm pretty sure costs a little bit more than that. There's no way that you should be stranded out there, child. I know your question is, would I ever sell with MSC? And I absolutely would. I wouldn't even second guess selling with them. Next time around, I would like to try their smart ships. Now, here are some things that I did not like. Really quick, just a recap. I did not like that they did not allow you to bring liquids on board. You know how a lot of other ships allow you to bring waters, wine, all of that. That was not the case here. And I was kind of surprised because that was the first cruise line I ever heard that did not allow it. But if you have the drink package, I guess you're fine. I did not like that this ship did not have an app to use. Now, I was told that the seashore, the seaside, or whatever they call it, child, they have it. Those are the smart ships. They have the apps. The apps are just so much more convenient. You don't have to go down to the desk. You can check your account online. You can book dining. You can book, you know, room service. You can actually chat with somebody online on board. You know, I hope you can do that in the app. I'm not really sure because I didn't use it. But that was what we missed. Like, say if she went downstairs and I wanted to go somewhere else, it would have been nice to be able to text and, you know, kind of communicate within an app like we were able to do when I went on my carnival cruise. I really didn't like that there was two processes to embarkation, but it didn't kill the vibe. We need to get together when it comes to that mustard drill, Chad. The elevators are so slow. I don't know who, if somebody's holding them up or what's happening. Y'all need to stop being stingy with the elevators and holding them up and, and being inconsiderate. Honey, at one point we had waited for about five minutes for an elevator to come to us. That's a long ass time. I know it's a ship full of people, but damn. It probably was longer than five minutes. I think we ended up just walking the, the stairs, taking the stairs. I would be wrong to not even mention this. It can be a little slow, but where you going? You on a boat, where you going? The floor can be a little bit slippery, child. Watch yourself, watch yourself. A little slippery. Alcohol was not as potent. Remember I told you about the bar at the pool area? Stay away from it. The alcohol, we had took shots, drinks, and at one point, we didn't feel nothing. I couldn't even believe it. I'm just like, well, what the hell is this about? Why are we not getting no type of buzz? It was that cheap-ass alcohol, child. Go upstairs, make you some friends, and start getting the real deal, Holyfield. The internet packaging did the little buffering. It worked, but it was buffering a lot. They got to do better with that Fantastical package. Make sure you get that $58 fee off of your tab. The food was pretty good. Did it come off in this video that... It was a lot of not so good things. I don't know. I just wanted to be as honest and very transparent with you before you on your expectations on what to expect when you're getting on this particular cruise ship. All of the things that you heard me mention would not keep me from booking with this cruise again, though. Like, I just wanted to be honest about what I experienced. Another thing before I go, I remember reading a lot, a lot about race and um, the bartenders not treating you right and people on board not treating like the workers and all this. I was very concerned, honey. I remember reading racist type of posts and I was like, ooh. I think that really made me kind of want to just be like, mm, maybe I should go back to the carnival, child. Okay, where, where we're welcome. I did not experience this. If anything, it may be from the guests. You know how some guests be, child. You can, I mean... We'll be here all day if we talk about some of these guests and the looks that they give and the questions that they may ask you and things like that. But I, we did not experience this, thank God. We did not experience where people was being unpleasant and nasty, not wanting to serve us. 
So I just wanted to put that out there. So if you're considering, at least try it. I'm gonna say this. If you're considering, you think that you can do the damn thing and this is suitable for you, then I say go ahead and give it a shot. I mean, the only thing that can happen is you never do it again, right? I believe I covered so, so, so much. I was on overload with the information I provided you in this video. If you found this video helpful at all, any point go ahead and thumbs this video up that also lets youtube know that this video needs to be in the youtube streets for everybody to see if you felt them good vibes go ahead and subscribe because i know it was a good time if you made it to the end of this video go ahead and put this emoji down in the comment section below child that's how i know it's real i want to thank you so very much for taking the time out to watch my video until next time later